So you said that getting your name out there um, and people would want to work with you based on you know the games that you made and your reputation um, for people just starting for game developers who are just starting out. Do you have any suggestions for getting their games out there and making like building up the reputation that you need to get the attention of bigger people? Yeah. Um, well, number one, when you're going into making games, you just kind of have to have a mindset of originality. Um, a lot of people struggle with this because. When you're starting out, it's it takes it takes a few years to find your voice. Like it, it takes a few years to understand the vocabulary, you know, understand how to speak with with your work, um, and that just takes time. Um, and what you can kind of kind of got to think of it is like a lot of people go into making games and they're like and they emulate, which is completely okay. Like it's it's something that you actually need to do in order to start and learn. You need to emulate stuff that you like. Um, and try to make it your own. Um, and as you grow, you'll be able to make your stuff more unique and more personal to you. And it doesn't, not in a literal sense where you have to tell stories about yourself or anything like that, but it's important as a designer to um, basically offer something that no one else can offer. And the one thing that you can offer that no one else can is yourself, your, your unique life experience and, and your thoughts and feelings. And not in a literal sense, but more in a broad kind of like make it unique, make it honest, and make it about stuff that you've experienced and you feel passionate about or really love. Don't make something completely generic, something that's been done before. Make something that stands out as something that you made. And the more unique and um, interesting you can do, you can make it, it interestingness and, 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 and originality will carry a video game even <laughs> easily, a lot more easily than actually even having a good game. Like if the game is bad, if the game's okay, but it has some sort of really unique personality to it, that'll carry the game and it'll get it out there more. Um, it's important, it's just trying to do stuff that's unique. Like I, I sometimes find, you know, I think that there was a game, <laughs> like something Ponyhorn Adventures where um, a little girl had her dad told her dad how to design this game that she like crudely drew with crayons and stuff and it was just this completely odd experience because it's this little girl designing this game and you know it's not it wasn't a good experience in any traditional sense but it was way more interesting than any you know multi-million dollar game i had played that year in the mainstream and there's something to that you know it's it's your a, a little sliver piece of who you are is much more interesting than some giant, you know, multi-million dollar lie, you know, that's been told to you for years that you've heard a million times the same story over and over and over again. So try your best to make something that's just unique in some way. It doesn't have to be all unique. It doesn't have to have all unique gameplay and, and it doesn't have to be some contrived, you know, story of your dead dog or something like that. It's just something something that just speaks about who you are in an indirect way and it'll stand out and it'll start to kind of build this name. Like um, people will be able to see your next game and be like, oh that I, I know who that is. That's so and so. You know, it'll just it'll just stand out. And if it doesn't, either way your name's on it. So it's 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 building and building. And as you go you just kind of build a reputation for yourself. Um, and also building a reputation for yourself means being excited and passionate about your work and talking about it. And one of the reasons why I'm here, you know, I, I do enjoy talking about my work. I'm not some narcissist, but I, making games is what makes me happy and talking about my work makes me happy too. So that's why I do these sort of things. But also it's important to do these sort of things because you can't expect anybody else in the world to be excited about what you're working on unless you are excited about it as well. It, it's just not going to work. No one's going to care. If you can't be passionate about what you're doing and talk about it, nobody else in the world is going to care. It's just, it's just not going to happen. So try your best to put yourself out there. It, it will take a little while to get used to talking like this. Um, you know, like I said, it took many years for me to get used to any of this kind of I guess social interaction and, and that sort of stuff too, but you learn over time and it's something that needs to happen in order to push yourself out there enough 
for people to recognize who you are and be like, oh, I want to sponsor that game or whatever else. Like it took so little story here. <laughs> so I from 2000 to 2006, it was the kind of start of my career where I was making kind of shitty little piddly games and ending with with Gish, which was my first kind of game that anybody really cared about. Um, then I spent two years just working my ass off on a bunch of different games to build to build my name and and just learn. You know, that was my number one was just learn. I wanted to get better because in hopes that eventually I would be able to um, make something big that could, you know, make my career and actually make me enough money to be more comfortable and have more creative freedom. So by 2008, I had amassed, you know, a large library of games and I was a bit frustrated with the fact that I had done all this stuff, but I didn't feel like it, a lot of people knew about it and I wanted to be able to kind of get more attention to my, my life's work at that point. So I, ma I put together like a disc of all my work um, and pr printed it myself with some money that I saved from sponsorships and started selling it. And from then I just emailed everybody I had contacted over this, the, the past eight years that I had been working and said, you know, this is my compilation disc, blah, 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 blah. Sent out a bunch of promos to different people and it got around and I sold, you know, the thousand copies that I had made of, of, of this disc. And through that is how I got contacts at Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft because somebody from, knew somebody else who happened to give this disc to somebody who said, hey, check this disc out. And uh, somebody at Microsoft checked it out and contacted me and said, hey, do you want to make an Xbox game? And that's kind of how it happened. It's just this stepping stone of me trying my best to do my, to do my best, but also realizing that in order to get to where I need to be, I need to be able to put myself out there and push a bit, like push. You gotta, you, you just gotta push a bit, even though you might not like to, um, because. If you, you don't do it, no you, one will. <laughs> you, yeah. You, you can't, you can't expect people to just find you. Like it's, it's, it would be in a perfect world. You make a great game and you put it on your website and everybody flocks to it, but that's not the way it works. You know, you, you, a good game will always be found, but it really helps to put it out there. And uh, that's why kind of pushing yourself out there is important in order to progress, especially financially. 